voting for the general primary election has started in Douglas County. When people ask why do we vote, we are voting for the individuals that represent us. We are all taxpaying citizens, whether that's sales tax, property tax, we're being taxed. And if you're going to be taxed, you should have representation. How do you have that representation? You have it through the ballot box. Douglas County Elections Director Milton Kidd offered some advice for citizens who plan to cast their vote early. My advice toward any citizens that are participating in the electoral process is make a plan to vote and plan to vote. Kit says the plan should include knowing where the advanced voting sites are located, the times they are open, and becoming familiar with the three ballots. There are three different composite sample ballots because this is a primary. A primary is really a selections process. It's when the two political parties that the state of Georgia recognizes narrow down their candidates that will appear on the November ballot. The third ballot is a nonpartisan ballot. A nonpartisan ballot for Douglas County or just the judiciary. If you plan on voting for a candidate, pick one of the party ballots. Finally, and most importantly, Kid says to make sure you have a form of identification. The most prominent of these forms is a Georgia uh, issued government ID or either Georgia issued uh, driver's license, but you can also have any government in issued ID. Registered voters in Georgia can also receive a free voter ID. That is an ID that can be used for voting, so no one has an excuse of why they don't vote. For up-to-date information on advanced voting and more, visit the Elections and Voter Registration page at www.celebratedouglascounty.com.